little piece of spoon so we can stir it up. Okay. To make this real pina, pina colada, we're gonna make a real pina colada. We got some coconut cream that we're gonna put in here, okay? This is real, this is gonna be a real deal, holy field. We're gonna put some little piece of coconut cream in here, okay? It's gonna be a little thick on you. Just stay with me, people. Stay with me. It's gonna be a little thick. Okay? You know, let me get a little piece of bowl. A little piece of garbage bowl. There we go. All right. It's gonna be a little thick on us, okay? But just stick with me, okay? Like half. That's all we need, like half. This is the coconut cream, okay? Coconut cream, little piece of water, little piece of ice. Stay with me. I call this double shot. What we doing first? Pineapple rum, okay? Come on. Pineapple rum. We're going to put just a little bit a pineapple rum in here, okay? We're not gonna put that much pineapple rum in there. I'll put you a little piece of pineapple rum in there, okay? Then, what we gonna do, I said double shot. Put you a little piece of white Hennessy in there, okay? Little piece of cognac, gonna, gonna, gonna do this real good, okay? Put a little piece of cognac down to the margar down to the pina colada. Okay? Okay, a little piece of cognac. Okay. Now I know what you're saying. There he is. This ain't gonna taste that good. We have the pineapple coconut water enhancer. What you said? What you said? Huh? This is the pineapple coconut water enhancer that go with the Hennessy, white Hennessy that go with the uh, rum. Okay? We're going to do a couple of squeezes. One, two, three, and a half. Now you see why I really want it. You see why I really want it to uh, put this in the in the thing. I wanted to freeze this, but I said, no, you know what? I, I ain't gonna freeze it. I'm gonna do it regular. I need a glass. Child. Let me get a glass, y'all hold the line. Okay. I want to get some ice in there too, huh? There we go. Okay. Double shot pina coladas, okay? Vegan and keto. Listen to me. It's not too sweet. It's not too coconutty. You get a little balance from the white Hennessy. Mm. Let me tell you what's on. Uh, at this point, if this is your first, second, or third time joining us, we ask that right now, all visitors please stand. Thank you for standing. Our impact agents are gonna come around and hand you an information card. We ask that you please take that information card and fill it out in its entirety. And when you go around for offering, please put the information card 
along with your love offering in the offering basket so that we may stay in contact with you. We welcome you uh, and thank you so much for visiting the Keto International Church of No Cobb in Christ. Got a little song? Here you go. Keto is on the main line. Tell it what you want. Whoa, Keto is on. It's on the main line. Tell it what you want. Keto is on. It's on the main line. Tell it what you want. You just call it up and tell it what you want. You may be seated. You may be seated. How you feel? You feel welcome? Come visit us anytime, okay? All right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make a little piece of jerk chicken marinade. Okay? Round here. We like to do as much as we can from scratch. In a food processor, we're going to add the ingredients. Little piece of garlic. Ain't never hurt nobody, okay? The water enhancer, really, you taste the pineapple and the coconut and the... Okay, then let me get the knife. In here, I got a few pieces of green onion, a few scallion. I want you to put the scallion down to the uh, food processor, okay? The white and the green parts of the scallion into the food processor, okay? Uh, we need a little piece of onion. There you go, hold on. This is the same onion from yesterday still holding on. I'm just holding them. Okay, little piece of onion going here. So we got onion, we got scallion, we got some garlic. Okay. Now, let's add in some seasonings. First of all, you know we need to put in a little piece of salt or this pepper. A little piece of pepper. A little piece of salt. Do you like your jerk spicy? I do. So, what you can put in here is a little piece of jalapeno or a little piece of habanero scotch bonnet. I don't have that, but I got jalapeno, okay? So, I put the jalapeno in here, seeds and everything, because I like my jerk to be a little, a little kick. Okay? All right. All right, let's go and season it. We got a little piece of ground thyme. Dry thyme, okay? Gotta have that, okay? Little piece of allspice berry. You know how the West Indians feel about allspice, okay? Put the allspice in there, doc. 
This is my little touch. Little piece of ground fennel. That's my touch. You ain't got to you ain't got to fennel if you don't want. If you ain't feeling fennel, don't feel it. Okay. Little piece of red pepper flake. Little more piece of heat. And I got a little piece of coriander. That's very West Indian. They like that. Okay. Two more things I got to put in here. Or three more things, I think. Uh, hold on. I got to, I got to find it. Hold on. I don't know what I... Did. Oh, here you go. Okay. Just go with me, please. Little piece of ground cinnamon. Okay, low piece, not, not a lot. Okay, you're not making cake, you're making a little piece of ground cinnamon, and then you're gonna put a little piece of fresh nutmeg in here. Have you ever seen fresh nutmeg berries? They look like this. Well, this is a whole one right here, they look like this. Okay, so we're gonna take fresh nutmeg, very different from the other nutmeg. Okay. You put the fresh nutmeg in here. All right, you just grate it on in here. Okay, now listen. I like my jerk to have a little piece of citrus flavor. That's just me. So we're not going to eat the orange, but we're going to zest the zest of the orange and put the zest of the orange in here, okay? I like a little citrus in mine, okay? The good thing about jerk is you can make the jerk however you want to make it. You see what I'm saying? So, and I'm not going too deep. I'm just going very light, not too deep in the skin of the orange, Done, okay? Little piece of orange zest and little piece of lemon zest, okay? Now you can buy jerk already made or you can go and do this here, okay? Little piece of lemon zest. If now I got to put a little piece of lemon juice in here. If I'm gonna use the zest of the, of the, um, the lemon, I mean the lime, <laughs> you know what I mean. Put a little piece of that in there, okay? Before we add the olive oil, let me tell you what I like. We done added all that heat, okay? We done added all that heat. You got to balance that heat with something. You got to balance that heat with something. So we're going to put a little piece of swerve, okay? This is like a brown sugar swerve product that we're going to put in here. This is the ultimate sugar replacement. This has... Uh, it's good, okay? This is what you use when you're doing keto, okay? So I'm gonna put a little piece of swerve. Look how it look. It look just like brown sugar. Can you see that? It look just like, you know, swerve is made by um the swerve people. Swerve is made by the swerve people, but this is what you eat when you do keto, okay? I like a little piece of brown sugar, but we can't do regular brown sugar, all right? So we're going to do this in here. That way you get the heat and you get the sweet at one time, okay? Now, to make this into jerk, we're going to put a little piece of olive oil in here because what olive oil going to do? Bring it all together. Okay, it's gonna bring it all together. Garlic, onion. We got, we got jerk. 
the smell is amazing. Okay? The smell of this is literally amazing. Okay. Let me warn you now, people. I'm about to put this onto chicken. Okay. If you are the kind of person that needs to wash your chicken, by all means, wash your chicken. I'm about to piss you off because I'm not washing this chicken. Okay? You also ain't eating it. Okay? That part. All right? So we're going to take, this is chicken thighs. Four, five, I'll oh, put them all in here. Seven. These are seven chicken thighs. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the marinade that we just made. This lovely jerk marinade. We're going to put the, look at this. All right. Look at this jerk marinade that we made. Mm. 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 I want all of it. I want all of the marinade out. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little piece of glove to massage the marinade all into the chicken. I could see those little bits of allspice berry. I could see the flecks of green from the green onion. Oh. I wish you could smell this. I do. I wish you could smell this. Okay. Look at what we have. All right. We have lovely marinated um, chicken, okay? Now, I know you're gonna complain. Oh, he didn't wash the chicken. That's all right, you still watching. How you doing? Okay, all right. This is what we're gonna do with the chicken. Let me get a pair of tongs because I've been preheating a skillet, okay? I've been preheating a skillet. So I'm gonna take the chicken straight away and put it in the skillet and get it going. Um, I think the skillet hot. We're gonna pray. Skillet hot. All right, and there's enough oil in the marinade that I don't need to add no extra. Okay. All right, there we go. Marinade, okay? Chicken, ready to go. Okay, we need something to go underneath the, uh, I don't know where my, here you go. We need something to go underneath. So let me get a little piece of water and put the water on. Hold on, hold the line, please. Here I come. I'm gonna put the water on. You know my stove bootleg. It don't want to light. Oh, oh, there it go. It's a little slow. It's a little delayed. That's all right. God is still honored. Okay. So you just joining us. Hey, y'all. 
we making jerk chicken thighs and we made the jerk marinade from scratch I put too many ingredients in there to have to go back over it again so when this go off watch the replay couple things if you want, make sure you join the Keto Facebook group, Keto But With Soul, okay? A lot of fun over there. Keto But With Soul on Facebook. You want the recipes to your inbox, go to DariusCooks.tv slash send recipes, okay? Somebody said, what about the feathers? Child, the chicken did not come from the farm. That chicken was boneless and skinless, okay, sis? Ain't no feathers when your chicken boneless. That's a bald head chicken. Okay. Bald head chicken. All right. Let me check on my chicken. Because I'm going to put it in the oven. Oh. Ooh. Look at this. Hold on. I'm going to let it cook for two more seconds and I'm going to show you. Now, one thing I love is, uh, you know, we can't do mashed potatoes no more. But what we can do is a little piece of Parmesan, a little piece of potato, I mean, a little piece of cauliflower puree. You know what I mean. It's double shot. White Hennessy. and pineapple rum. A little bit of both, you see. Why have one when you can have two? Okay, so we're gonna come in here and we're gonna cut a little piece of cauliflower up. Now I know some people do not like cauliflower puree. The key is you gotta cook the cauliflower puree for a long time. I was washing it off a little bit. You gotta really boil it, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna pull off some florets, some pieces and we're gonna cut them up. But let me tell you what we're gonna do later on. We're going to put all the good stuff in here. Okay? You just stay tuned. If you never had good cauliflower puree, I got you. Okay? I ain't gonna, I, I'm going to use like half of this. I ain't going to use the whole one because I don't need the whole thing. Well, it ain't, it ain't that big no way. That's what happened when you buy organic. It'd be so small. Okay. Cauliflower florets into the water. Let that boil. Boil. Let that boil. And then we'll see about that in a minute. Let me show you this chicken as I flip it over. I want to show you this chicken. Show you this. Okay, as I flip this chicken over, I want to show you the backside of this chicken cooking. In this cast iron skillet. Okay, this is what I want to show you. Can you see this? Huh? Can you see this? This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Ooh. Put it in the oven. Let the oven do the rest of the work. Okay? Let the oven do the rest of the work. I don't want you to worry about it too tough, okay? I want you to let the oven do the rest of the work. Okay? Now, 
We need a little piece of green. Okay. If we have a meal plan, so if you go to DariusCooks.tv slash send recipes and you sign up, you get the meal plan. Okay. Pina colada. Real deal pina colada. Okay. We're going to do a little spicy garlic spinach. Okay. We're going to do a little spicy garlic spinach. And we're going to do it with the real garlic. If you know me, we're going to fortify. Let me say something. Knowing love the way I do. Okay. This is garlic. Now what we're going to do with the garlic is we just gonna slice the garlic a little bit. Okay. Do me a favor. Watch out for your fingers. Those don't taste good, okay? We're going to put a little piece of fire. I didn't need it. Okay. For the spinach. A little piece of olive oil in the skillet. You don't need that much. Okay. You just need a little piece. Take your little piece of garlic. Put your garlic. Okay. Put your garlic in there. Along with your garlic. Little piece of butter, spinach, garlic, butter, sounds good to me. What are we doing? I don't know. No, I know what we're doing. We're making a little flavored oil to cook this in, okay? I know I said spicy red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes, garlic. Put your little salt in here. Well, you don't need a lot of salt. Spinach don't come seasoned. Put your little salt. Put your little pepper in there. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fortify it with a little more garlic powder. Okay? A little more garlic powder ain't really never hurt nobody. Spicy garlic spinach. Let me show you what we got. Look at what we got. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to put me a little piece of white wine in here. Okay, this is fancy. Because I want that flavor to be in here. I'm going to cut my fire down low. And I'm going to let this cook on low heat. Because, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the spinach in with the heat off. That way, you know what's going to happen. Hold the line. I got to wash out the food processor because I need that for what's coming next. I don't have but one food processor. Now, let me tell you something. If you upset because we got to wash out the food processor, you could cash at me. Dollar sign Darius Cooks. You can hire an intern. They can wash it out while I'm doing it. Okay. Thank you for holding. You, you are a very kind people. I have some strawberries that I went ahead and washed off. Okay. These are strawberries. Strawberries. Um, are keto. You can't eat a whole lot. But you can eat a few. Okay. Strawberries. You see what's happening? I put the I put the, the garlic and the butter and the oil on low. So that garlic is gonna caramelize in that butter and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, these are strawberries. You can eat these. This is keto. Okay. Put the strawberry in the food processor. I got to sneeze, y'all. God bless me. All right. This is enough. We're just going to do a few. A few strawberries. Then what you want to do, put the strawberries in like this. And blend the strawberries up like that. Simple. Okay. Then... This is what we finna do. You get you a little piece of food storage bag. Okay. Then what I want you to do is I want you to, this chicken smells so good in here cooking. Oh. Take you some heavy cream. Pour your heavy cream in your bag, okay? Then, take your little piece 
of real vanilla extract. Pour you a little bit of that in there. Bam. Okay. Then take you a little piece of powdered monk fruit sweetener. It's like powdered sugar. Okay. And put you a little piece of powdered monk fruit sweetener. We went over this yesterday in here. Okay. Powdered monk fruit sweetener. Close this up. For now. Close this up. <laughs> For now. Mix it around so you mix in the sugar real good. Okay? Then all you want to do, because now that's sweet and vanilla, is you want to pour in your strawberries. Baby, I feel so good right now. It don't make no sense. Pour in your strawberries. Put this like this here. This is keto. And this goes in the freezer. And it comes out the freezer already frozen, you see? Strawberry and cream frosty people. What did you just say I made? Strawberry and cream frosty. I'm gonna put it back in, cause I'm not ready to eat it just yet. But I wanna show you what I'm talking about. Okay, strawberry. Um. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. This is so good. And this is Mexican vanilla. You see what I'm saying? With this monk fruit sweetener. Hagen who? Talenti who? Okay. Back in the freezer. I'm not ready yet. Don't play with me. I'm ready for you. Do not play with me. Hmm? Okay. Now we done boil. We done boil down. We done boil down the cauliflower. Okay. We done boil down the cauliflower. Cauliflower is ready to go. Okay. Now, we're going to take the cauliflower that we done boil, and we're going to put the cauliflower down to the ninja. Okay.
cauliflower boil. The key is really boiling. That way you get rid of all that like really sulfur cauliflower taste. Pour the water out. Let's go. We'll put us a little piece of cream in here. Little piece of salt. Little piece of pepper. Little piece of garlic. And you know what we need. You know what we need. Don't play with me. You know exactly what we need. Oh, I don't think this is even no good. Oh, yeah, it is. No, this don't like it's no good. Hold on. It say it don't expire until August, but it don't like it's no good. Hold on. I got a ram in the bush. Hold on, I got a ram in the bush. Oh, yeah, I do. I got a ram in the bush. We're gonna put a little piece of mascarpone cheese in here. If you've been following me any period of time, you know how we get down with the mascarpone, Doc. Mascarpone is an Italian cream cheese that make everything taste better. It's got the Holy Ghost inside of it. Holy Ghost, is that you? Yes, it is. Okay. So we got the mascarpone. All right. Now we got to add a little more liquid. We're going to add a little more liquid. But first, put this on here like this. Put that down. All right. Put that on. Power Lord. Put it on high. Right, what we got? Cauliflower puree. Please do not play with me. Please. Do not come in here on this live stream playing with me today. All right, what we got? Cauliflower puree. Look at this. Ooh, we Lord Jesus. You mean to tell me that we done set up here and done pureed the cauliflower with the garlic and the whatnot. That's exactly what I'm telling you, okay? Now, to make this luscious, what we gonna do? Little piece of butter. Okay, how could this be bad? Put this back on the stove. Let that heat through. Speaking of heat through, look at what we have. Speaking of heat through, look at what we got. This is the brown butter with the reduced white wine and the garlic, okay? Put that on for a little bit and we're gonna grab the spinach. Let me tell you what you need. Okay, you're going to need to make sure you pick up baby spinach. If you don't pick up baby spinach, you're going to be shamed. Okay? This is baby spinach. And we're just going to put it in for a second, let it wilt a little bit, and that's it. Okay? Gross pay is all this. Net pay is what we're going to have in a minute, okay? Oh, 
Okay, hold the line, please. Did somebody say jerk chicken? When I say jerk, you say chicken. Jerk, jerk. When I say jerk, you say chicken. Jerk, jerk. When I say jerk, you say chicken. Jerk. Hold on. Let me stir this up. Okay, this is it. I'm going to cut this heat off. I'm cutting the heat off. I just want to wilt the spinach a little bit in the garlic with the butter, you know, and I'm going to let the heat from the, the skillet wilt the spinach down. And that's why you season the oil with the white wine and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Look how, look how I wilt down to nothing, child. This is why you season it from the beginning. See, if you season it from the beginning, you ain't got to worry about if it's going to have no flavor to it. You already know it's going to have a little flavor. You see what I'm saying? And we just going to wilt it a little bit. That's it. Huh? Look at that. Look what we just did with that spinach. Ooh, look at that. Okay? With the little piece of garlic and the red pepper flakes strewn about. Huh? Hmm. My God. Y'all. Y'all. Okay. Here we go. My Lord Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. If thou would draw thyself from me, O oh Lord, where shall I go? Boneless, skinless, jerk chicken thighs, cooked. Left a big job down in the city Working for the man every night and day Woo! Okay. Okay. All right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to fix this up our little plate. We're going to do a little plate. Okay. We're going to do a little plate. Did we cook or did we cook? Did we cook? Or did we cook? Come on. Little piece of the cauliflower puree right on the bottom. Okay? This is your cauliflower puree right there. Then we're gonna take a little piece of the garlic, spicy garlic spinach with the white wine and put that right on top. You can load up with that, Doc. Okay? Then we're gonna take a little piece of our jerk chicken, put that right there. Then we're gonna take little piece of scallion and we're going to sprinkle that right on top. All right. Don't forget you can join our Keto But With Soul Facebook group. We love to have you as a part. Keto, but with soul. If you want the recipes, you get the recipes. DariusCooks.tv slash send recipes. 
okay? Bow your heads, people. Let's say grace. Grace. All right, here we go. Jerk chicken thighs, first of all. Super tender, look at that. Okay, smoky. This has the red pepper flake. And it has the jalapeno pepper in it, okay? Sorry, hold on, sorry. The rum, the rum got me. I'm here, I ain't fall, I'm here. I gotta tell you something, okay? Baby, for this to be um, jerk chicken in the oven, and the cube, I'm going to stand still for a fall. The cube is that little bit, that little bit of sugar, okay? It's hot. Here's that puree. If you don't like cauliflower puree, please try it with the mascarpone cheese, the heavy cream, and the what you call it, okay? And it's still, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. It really is delicious. Look, where we go. Where we go. Oh, it's spicy. There's the heat. Don't forget. You can cool down with either your pina colada or we've got some strawberry and cream frosty, almost like an ice cream that you can cool down with and you can enjoy. Oh, you can cool down with this and you can enjoy this with your with your meal, look at this. Do you see strawberries and cream? You see that? Frozen, no churn, strawberries and cream. And you can stay in ketosis. Did we cook or did we cook? If you want the recipes, DariusCooks.tv slash Sim Recipes. Two things I want to tell you as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I want to wish you happy keto cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Try this jerk chicken. It'll change your life. Your whole life. Bye, y'all. Mmm. That is so good. Yes, that is.